Hi, I'm Danielle Shoebottom, and uh, this is my video portion of my lab three. And first, I'm going to describe with you my skin layer, which I have tried to draw out. Um, don't mind the baby if she is talking in the background. Also, you can see that I don't have anything surrounding me. Oh, yeah. So. First, we're going to talk about the basement layer of the skin cells, and that is going to be at the bottom, uh, or like right underneath the skin, hence the name basement layer, or basement membrane. Then we have our blood vessels, which are going to be right here, and then we are going to have our dermis level, which is right here in the middle, okay? Next, we have our epidermis level, which will be from the top all the way here to the bottom. And then right down here, this whole thing is going to be our hypodermis, which will also include our shh, which will also include our subcutaneous gland, also known as the sweat gland, which excretes um, toxins and also helps um, regulate temperature. So next we have our keratinocytes, which is going to be up here. And these nice little drawings are hairs. And then we have our melanocytes, which are on the skin. Um, and then we also have our papillary layer, which is going to be up here. Then we have our rectic reticulary layer and that is going to be at the bottom of the skin then we have our stratum basal our stratum corneum our stratum granulosum our stratum lucidum and our stratum spinosum and those are going to be all parts of the dermis and that is it for our skin layer okay and so this is going to be my second part of my lab three video where I am going to describe to you the compact bone in which I have so beautifully drawn out and you can see that there's nothing around here. Except for our dog and yeah. tell toys. All right, so first part. These three are colored different things because they are different. Um, objects. So the red one is going to be the nerve, the pink one is going to be the vein, and the green one is going to be the artery. These lines in between here are going to be the lapinae, the lines right here, and then we have our, um, through here, right here, is going to be our canaliculi, and then these little dots or circle things right here are our osteocytes. So, that's pretty much it for our compact bone. Hi, I'm Danielle Shoebottom, and this is going to be my third part of my video where I am explaining the parts of the body. So, as you can see, I don't have anything. Mommy? Hi. And then I'm going to, my husband's going to come hold her, and I'm going to video. Hold on a second, everybody. Yeah. Come on. You're going to be mommy's helper. Do you want me to like hold her? Hold her? Uh, she can stand up, do whatever she wants. Okay. <laughs> okay. So for the first part is the cervical vertebrae, which is going to be right here on her. And then for um, the next part, Rosie, can you turn around? Can you show them your diaphragm? That's going to be all right here, right? Right. Yeah. And then we have our external abdominal oblique muscles, which are going to be right here, the little squishy body. Okay. Then we have our frontal bone. Okay. <laughs> right here, the little hard head. We also have our hyoid, which is going to be right here. Don't touch, baby. It's right there. Our lumbar it's vertebrae it's are going to be back it's here. That. Right here. Where's your mandible? Is this your mandible? Your jaw. Say yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. 
Then we have our maxilla, which is going to be um, right here. That's your maxilla. <laughs> then her nasal bone, Everly. Nasal bone, it's right there. Oh, it's good. And then we have her pectoris, which is her chest. And then her her um, rectus abdominis muscle, which is your little hiney. <laughs> and then her caustics will also be in there, her tailbone. Then her sternum is going to be in the right here, in the middle of her chest. And then we have our temporal lobes. Come here, right there. It's where my brain hurts every single day because of you. <laughs> And then we have our thoracic vertebrae, which is going to be in right here. That's your thoracic vertebrae. And then we have our trapezius muscles, which are going to be right up here. Yeah, one day they'll be big like daddies. And then she's got her zygomatic bone, which is going to be right here. But you can't really see them because of how chubby her little cheeks are. Let me see. Are those your zygomatic? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Rosie.